Hi and welcome to Film Picking. I'm Rohan Nag and this is Pushkaraj. And today we are discussing Robin Williams. I, when I woke up, I couldn't believe that it was real. The first thing I went is checked Google all over to check if it was a hoax. It somehow disturbed me because as a child, Robin Williams was one of my favorite actors. There was a point in time when Robin Williams was my favorite actor mm. for the longest time. Me too. And especially for the character voices that he gave, the emotional performances that he did. So today we'll be discussing the best movies according to us of Robin Williams and what made them so special. The first one, Goodwill Hunting. I think I should move to the south of France, change my name to Vincent. You ever heard the saying, any port in a storm? Yeah. Uh, script by Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, surprisingly, and it won an Oscar. And I think one of Pushkaraj's top favorite movies. Yeah, uh, absolutely. As, as any creative person or a person who is exceptionally gifted, I, I think they would immediately associate, it, associate with this movie because it is real, it's the anguish that every person who is a genius goes through. For me, this movie was life-changing in a way. It's one of the best scripts ever written and one of the most humane performances that Robin Williams ever pulled off. An absolutely genuine, caring person who is just going to be badly missed now. So, that's Goodwill Hunting. The second movie on the list is one that made us all smile when we were kids, made us all laugh, and that was Mrs. Doubtfire. Luck be a lady with me. Luck be a lady. Are we close? Any closer, and you'd be mom. Hello, Mrs. Hillard, I presume? Yes, I'm Miranda Hillard. Euphigenia Doubtfire. Oh, yes. Won't you please come in? Thank you, dear. I think there's only one person in entire India who has not seen that movie, <laughs> and that would be Kamal Hassan. No, he, he had admitted to seeing it. Of course. Obviously. So, uh, Mrs. Is. Doubtfire, the movie that inspired Chachi Charsovich, both movies I really like. Mrs. Doubtfire for me, when I was a kid, was one of the best comedy movies I've seen yeah. at that point. Yeah. And plus, for the first time, a male playing a female was not too weird. I mean, it just looks weird. Their prosthetics, whatever it was, his mannerism, acting, was so, so very believable as a male nanny. Generally, when men play women, it seems satirical. It does, yes. But when Robin Williams played it, the satirical part was lost and the humorous part was absolutely exaggerated because he played it with so much ease and conviction. Correct. And I think that is what makes Mrs. Doubtfire the comic piece it is. Absolutely. So one of our favourite movies when growing up, Mrs. Doubtfire. Now coming down to the next movie, uh, even this movie has an Bollywood uh, remake, Dead Poet Society. It's from a poem by Walt Whitman about Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Now in this class you can either call me Mr. Keating, or if you're slightly more daring, Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> Dead Poet Society has a Bollywood remake. Sir. Mohabbate. Oh, Mohabbate is a crap movie. Do it. It is a remake. No. It is a remake. No. No. Dead Poet Society is a beautiful film. Okay? Not many people can go through the entire film because it's slow. But I think everybody who has love for literature. And this movie is not only about literature or creativity, it's about a professor changing the lives of students just by helping them make choices on their own. It, and helping them fall in love with three girls, right? So that's no, not exactly. Do not compare this movie to Mohabbate or the crap, it is not that. It, it is a brilliant I'm sure Amitabh Bachchan takes offense to that. And, and it deals with a lot of issues yes. that were pertinent at that time of parents putting pressure on their kids to study a certain field. It's still pertinent actually. It, it is, it, actually it is timeless for that very reason. It picks out topics which are pertinent across ages. Again, Robin Williams, 
had an Oscar deserving performance in this one and uh, yeah it's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time right up there in my top 20 30 movies that I would consider a must watch for people of all ages and yeah so that Deadpool Society is definitely the Robin Williams movie on this list on at least on the serious part yeah now coming down to the fun and adventure part of Robin Williams he has done quite a few films in those one mention is Hook, though we are not talking about it because we didn't like the movie much. Me. But uh, it is famous. But coming down to his best action adventure movie would be Jumanji. Jumanji, you want to play? Manji, uh, the, the first movie I ever watched in a theater three times. Okay, and we are talking of a time when, for me to watch a movie, I had to sneak out of the hostel, take the train to the last station. Basically, the whole part of yeah. Pura, you know, that same. The, the whole jing bang, and I did it because this movie was worth it. It was amazing. It was hilarious, and I. I, I mean, who can forget the rhinos and the elephants coming yeah, out of it, the dam? It was thing. surreal. It was surreal. It was an amazing piece of direction. Amazing. CG for that time and Robin Williams as Alan, Alan, right? Alan, yes. Yeah. Was brilliant. That's I mean, it is childish. Now, if you see this movie now, it's kind of kiddish and stupid, but back then, this movie was pure cinematic gold. Yeah. It, I think it gave us our first taste of CGI animals, which yes. are kind of fake. The monkeys look damn fake, but they are fun. And might I mention, my first childhood crush, Christine Dunst, in that movie. Christine Dunst. Yeah. Yeah, she's, I think, the same age as us. So back then I was like, oh, this chick is awesome and this movie is too good. So I saw it like four or five times. I worn out the VCR on this one. Yes. So watch oh, this that movie. Had VCRs. Yes. Yeah, watch this movie if you haven't. It is a brilliant movie which connects Robin Williams uh, to this amazing board game. I'll not talk about the movie much. Just see it. Alright. Uh, coming to the next movie on the list is again a serious one. Again a tearjerker by Robin Williams. And it's a movie called Patch Adams. Cloud salute! Very good. White face! Which the story and concept was picked up for an Indian movie called Munna by MBBS. Loosely. Different treatment but kind yeah. of similar on the story part. Similar on the story part where a doctor tries to change the lives of patients not by giving them medicine but by making them laugh smile or laugh. making them smile, bringing happiness or changing the lives with just joy. It's a guy who is trying to make everyone else happy whereas his own life is crumbling around him. And he's performed it perfectly. And every time I watch it, it does make me cry because it is brilliant. Right? It's, it's brilliant in terms of his story. It's brilliant in terms of the entire way it's directed and it's brilliant in terms of what Robin Williams as a human being has brought to his performance in this movie. It is real and that makes it priceless. Right, definitely one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. So, Patch Adams it is. Coming to the next. The next movie are uh, not very well loved by critics. For some reason, I really like that movie. It connected with me very well. And it's called Bicentennial Man. You may not have heard of this movie. It is very infamous. It was made by the guy who did Home Alone. So everyone was expecting a very child-friendly movie. Turned out to be very, not dark I would say, but a very retrospective kind of movie in which a robot wants to be a human being. This Christmas, witness one robot's extraordinary 200 year journey. He learns and grows all the time. To become... This is an external physical upgrade only. An ordinary man. Thank you. I believe in miracles. This is a brilliant movie in which Robin Williams is first a complete robot who slowly, slowly gains his humanity and uh, becomes a human by the end of it and they acknowledge that he is a human being by the time he's dying so bicentennial man means it's a first man who have lived 200 years so very emotional movie especially now that he has actually passed away this movie will definitely make me cry more I cried the first time when I saw it but that was back in 2000 I guess so this is a movie watch it only if you like this kind of genre which is a very sci-fi drama which is something difficult to digest honestly speaking 
and uh, watch this movie only if you like this kind of a movie which is difficult to uh, understand because it's very retrospecting it's about long life it's about things you lose so pushkaraj yeah uh, this is a movie that could not have been probably possible without robin williams as the character the whole point of going all the way from absolutely robotic to a human being is something that only robin williams as an actor could have genuinely pulled off with the kind of emotions that he has the control he had over himself as an actor who can emote ranging from absolutely devoid of emotion to a person with absolute complete range of emotions and robin williams is the soul of this movie and carries it out which is one of the few reasons i love this movie personally also uh coming to the part of the movies or rather the, the thing yeah. that robin williams is most known for and will always be is his voice acting the first time i even realized that voice acting itself is such an engaging process is when i saw on tv obviously robin williams giving the voice for genie in aladdin you always think voice actors just sit there and give their voice but robin williams lived that character even within the little sound box he was out there flailing his arms acting it out giving his entire persona his personality to genie and being it and you can feel that energy when you watch aladdin you love genie and his voice and the th- way he says things talks things you can feel the emotion in his voice and that is what robin williams was capable of doing that genie, his voice that genie is what made that movie yeah no one likes the character of aladdin everyone likes the character of genie 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 is the character that stuck genie is the character that went on bags cups mugs all kinds of merchandise Genie is the soul of Aladdin, and Genie is Robin Williams. Williams, and that just shows his awesomeness as a voice artist, as a voice actor, rather, in such movies. And it is for these things that Robin Williams will always be one of the best actors, performers, people in the film in film industry that have ever been there, and he will be missed. Some honorable mentions of Robin Williams. would be these are not movies that we are recommending but these are movies which are uh, well known is what dreams may come jack these are movies that you might want to check out so that's about it for our robin williams this book can good morning vietnam which i personally yeah. don't like but a great movie yeah and you can watch them if you want to but yeah and th- these would be the best of robin williams and the end of this review This channel is a genuine attempt at keeping real reviews and real movie talks alive and if you like what we review what we talk what we discuss here please subscribe to us and let us know your views your feedback join our facebook page subscribe to our channel and help us keep real movie reviews alive so well, if you like what we do how we speak it what we speak just subscribe here thank you bye bye